guys, it's Kayla with Tactical Response. One of the most common questions I get asked about is the minimum amount of med gear you can carry. And the way the question is usually phrased is, what if you could only carry one thing? Well, that one thing would be a tourniquet. Two things would be two tourniquets. And I focus on that because blood loss is gonna kill you faster than anything else. And a tourniquet is the way to fix any kind of arterial bleed from any of your extremities. Uh, if uh, we're gonna, we'll keep it to five things total, but two, uh, one tourniquet, two tourniquet. The third thing that I would recommend is a chest seal. I like the two pack so that you can get one on the entrance wound and one on the exit wound. Uh, that's gonna help keep you from getting a tension pneumothorax. Fourth thing I would recommend carrying is a needle for a needle decompression if you do wind up with uh, that because the chest seal might not stop it completely. You could still have a hole in your lung leaking air. So that's number four. And then number five would be something to secure an airway. My favorite is the NPA. Uh, okay, I lied. My, my second favorite is the NPA. My favorite are the eye gels, but they're way more invasive than what's usually needed. Um, and the eye gel is just, uh, it's the ease of an NPA, but actually intubating somebody. So it's probably a little overkill for what you're looking for, but the NPA, uh, even a safety pin, just something to secure an airway. And that's about as minimalistic as you can get with a med kit. The uh, tactical response sells a Vox and the mini pocket box. And we make sure to include uh, the duct tape, the for the uh, the duct tape and the plastic combines to work as a chest seal. Uh, all of them come with a tourniquet. I, I would add a second tourniquet to everything though. But those are the minimums of medicine.